Hey guys, Danny here. Um, as a lot of you guys who follow my channel for a while know, um, I went to prison for 11 years. Um, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll, you'll know what for by now anyway. Um, but I thought I'd answer a question I get a lot that I've not really addressed on this channel, is what is prison like? Um, and it's a fair question, because uh, not many people know, and it's something that's quite interesting to people who haven't really experienced that side of things. Um, so I'll try and do like a start to finish, if that makes sense. Sort of touching on various things that stood out to me when I was um, when I was inside. Um, when you first sort of get to prison, uh, when you when you get to the cell, um, the other prisoners that are already there because they're like in groups. Um, you get the cell usually has about between four and six people in it. They they like to test you. They do things um, to test how much spirit you have. Like, for example, when I got there, they made me print out pictures of my mum and I gave it to them and they ripped the pictures of my mum up in front of me and if I did have shown any weakness, they'd have been on me like, like nothing. So uh, it's really important to stay strong, to have that spirit, because if you show any signs of weakness, they'll, they'll, they'll beat you down. Um, I experienced something called icking, I-C-K-I-N-G, icking, when I was inside. Um, and I think this is quite common especially in UK prisons uh, where they'll remove the toilet in the cell and um, they'll just get rid of it uh, so the, the plumbing is exposed and they'll put your belongings in there uh, it sounds weird um, and then they'd uh, put diuretics in your food or your, or your snacks or whatever you're keeping um, so you really need to pee and it turns out when you get up in the middle of the night and pee and there's no toilet there it's just your stuff and next thing you know you're pissing on your copy of the girl with the dragon tattoo and it's all you can't read it after that um it's not nice they're not nice in that um after you've established sort of yourself in in a prison um and a gang will usually try and approach you to recruit you because they're usually um done on race so you've got the white gang uh and then the other races as well um, there's a gang called the London Bird Huckers um, that are quite big in UK prisons and they've been notorious um, what they do to try and initiate uh, young white males is they tattoo the phrase live, laugh, love onto the arm there, you can see they didn't get me but they, they do it there um, in an attempt to demasculate uh, prisoners um, and it works I think three at least in my time in prison three prisoners committed suicide um because of that they just couldn't they couldn't deal with it um yeah that's just a short introduction to to uk prisons because i keep getting comments asking about it so i thought i'd just give you a little bit if you want to know more let me know in the comment section below i'm happy to answer because it is it's really interesting um and i'm just lucky i sort of got at it relatively unscathed but yeah thank you very much guys